Hi, this is Anne from Duct Tape and Denim, and today I'm going to show you how I make my salt of the earth necklace with a vintage salt shaker. I always start off with the tiny individual salt size salt shakers like these. I use the larger ones like for Christmas ornaments or for photo holders, but for necklaces, the little tiny ones are pretty good. The bigger ones are just a little too big. Some people like them, but it's a little too big for me. So then I have a piece of wire. I think that is 24 gauge, yep. And I have a tiny little, it's a freshwater pearl, and I like that one. It's really bumpy and very organic looking. I don't know if that's focusing. Then I have a tag that I hand stamped. I made this one say salt of the earth. And then two jump rings. So you take the vintage salt shaker. This is just an aluminum one. I find them in an antique shop. So you can get them on eBay or, or just anywhere else you can buy old stuff. And the wire, see I bent it right there and I kind of measured it, just estimated between two holes on the top. Can you see that? So it's about that size, that far apart. I made the the bends in the wire about that far apart. And then I string it on there. Pull it all the way up. And then I cross it. My goodness, I never realized how noisy it is outside until I start doing a video. And it's raining today, which I love hearing that. But okay, so you make a little cross like that. Then you take your pliers and you make the long one bend it, make a little angle right there where they meet, bend that where it goes straight up. Can you see that? Let me move that out of the way. And then I take my pliers and I hold, them, hold it tight there. So I've got that bent and then I make the other short one go at a more like a 90 degree angle around there. And then I start turning that. And I Make the wire go around, the short wire go around the long wire about three times. And I cut it with my wire cutters. Now I don't use my good wire cutters for this because this steel wire is kind of hard and it will ruin those little jewelry wire cutters pretty quick. So I have an old pair that I use for this wire. And then you'll see you probably have a little piece sticking out there and I'll just squeeze that down. For necklaces, I and look a lot more careful about that sticking out than if I was an ornament because you don't want catch that catching on your clothes or anything. And then I string on the freshwater pearl all the way down to look like that. Then take the pliers right above the pearl. You can make the pliers fit all the way up against the pearl and bend the wire over to make a 90 degree angle like that. Now I take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a loop at the top. And this is just the basic loop like if you were making bead dangles or something. And you can find lots of videos on that, specifically if you need practice on that. And then I hold the loop straight with my pliers and I wrap the wire around again until until the pearl is tight in between there. Like that. And then I'm going to trim it again. Squeeze it up tight again. And then you just screw the lid back on. So you can put a secret message in there or anything you want. And there you have your vintage salt shaker pendant for your necklace and then I would just put both of those on a chain with the two little jump rings. 